Hello friends, my name's James. And this is my 1965 Alberg 30 Sloop SV Tritea. We're on a mission to sail around the world and see as much of this beautiful planet as possible. On this season, we're working our way through New Zealand. I want to share with you all the magic that is Aotearoa. So today we are going to hike up to St. Paul's Rock, which looks like that big gum drop on top of the mountain. Um, shouldn't be too wild. I guess the last part, if you want to kind of get to the top, you have to use chains to pull it yourself up. So let's go check it out. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this sign. 2020. Nice breeze, huh? The beauty of filming is I can pretend that I'm filming while I take a rest and no one ridicules me. <laughs> oh, hello, St. Paul. Oh wow, you can see the, the oyster beds, huh? That is amazing. Holler back if it's doable. These are so, such a cool idea. Look like at chain handrail. Yeah, so let, let's, let's go and I come down and then I'm going to change my mind about what I just said. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. This is the occup yeah, occupational hazard. <laughs> Highest point, like a goat. Highest point. <laughs>
what is it? This is called St. Paul's Rock or St. Paul's Rock. Um, easy, pretty easy hike. Kind of steep, but totally doable. Fantastic views, just ridiculous. And uh, now it's time for us to make our way down. And uh, yeah, if you ever are up at Fangaroa, take the time to hike up here because the views are, are ridiculous. So earlier, after we got back from our last hike, the winds were blowing, what would you say, blowing like 15, right? Constant? Yeah, 15 to 18 on me. 15 to 18 out of nowhere. <clears throat> we all relaxed for a bit, I took a nap, and now it's dead calm again, which is awesome. This is great. Nice little swimming current. Yeah, was, yeah the current is uh, <laughs> cru <laughs> cruising, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, lovely, lovely though. Water's not too cold, pretty refreshing. And uh, the sun is warm and there's no wind. That's the main thing. I Had another very peaceful night on the hook here at Fangaroa Harbor. And uh, we're gonna haul up here in a bit and move up to Te Rei Rei Bay. Um, which is the name of my buddy's Keith, Keith's boat, so that'll be fun. Uh, we're gonna anchor over there so we can be kind of at the foot <clears throat> of the trail up to <clears throat> Duke, the Duke's Nose. Uh, I think it's like a outlook similar to what we did yesterday. And, um, but a much shorter walk if we go anchor over there rather than go to the, uh, the main trailhead. 
and we'll have a new new spot to look at it should be really pretty well protected um, and that puts us in a really good jump off point for first thing in the morning we're going to be heading back to the Bay of Islands so captain's getting the engine all sorted out making sure everything's good to go and then we'll be on our way I'm filming. What's happening in here? Just fresh water on top of the um, sail drive. Probably because they had the cyclone just howling with rain. But I just want it cleaned up so that I know that nothing else is happening. Otherwise, everything else is good. Make sure, yeah, it's not some kind of consistent. <laughs> yeah, I want to make sure it's not something that's going to repeat itself. Just dialing out the ifs, as always. <laughs> How big is this? What is the engine it's a horsepower? Um, 80 horse. Wow. Um, so the turbo, two liters. Anything with turbos. There we go, it's looking much better. Let's get everything dry. Okay, look good. Nice and clean. Clean is good. So, what are you about to do? I'm just going to, while we've got some clear water, because we've been in muddy marinas up till now, we're going to um, just quickly change the zincs, because they've been changed in ages, but I've noticed when I went down the other day to check the bottom of the hull, that um, the ones on the tips of the props are worn. So, in a beautiful place like this, back to the old game of maintaining your boat in beautiful places. And you, you put weights, scuba weights in the bucket, yes, and I'm... then you'll fill it with water. And, and... then we'll, um, we'll hang the bucket off the prop and it just means um, it just saves you diving down five meters and looking around in sand for one screw <laughs> yeah which is never works very well yeah no doubt <clears throat> fucking cold Ooh, oh shit it's like a bar very here. very cold holy shibble a british bar <laughs> right but we can't blow here <laughs> Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, you making me laugh? I'm oh, choked to death okay. <laughs> It's also subarctic current. Really cool little house tucked up in the cliffside here with their own little dock. Oh, 
I love that sheer cliff face too. Really cool. Neat spot. So pretty. Oh, that's wide open in there. There's nobody anchored deep in. No. That's obviously where they were. But I think just in there is the. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's probably it, huh? That's where land the dinghy. Yeah, that's where the hut is. Look at these terraces, natural terraces on yeah, this. Nose. Really neat. I love this Duke's nose. That thing is ridiculous. Hello. You know, the English sailors were howling when they saw that thing. <laughs> They're howling. <laughs> we are in the very beautiful Te Re Re Bay. There's only one monohull, one little fishing boat, and a catamaran just left. So we got, kind of got our pick of a spot. Oh yeah, here's your little cove you talked yeah. about, Katrina. So here's a little cove where we'll land the dinghy to do the hike. Right there. Oh, and there's a little cove over there too. Mad. <laughs> We are here. They'll drop the hook in Lane Cove, Anchorage. Just adjacent is the Te Re Re Bay, right there. And we have a little, that's the entrance to the hike and the little tramper shack. And we are in six meters and incredible holding like everywhere here. Mud, super, super strong holding. And this is gonna be our home for the night. And uh, after lunch, we're gonna head up to the Duke's Nose. Well, that's a short handrail. <laughs> that's for Minahune. That's what they call the little goblins in uh, Hawaii. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, my shoes feel slippery. Oh, 
<sighs> Must be a little different viewpoint, little path right there. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, I wonder where that goes. Yeah. There's a cave too, right there. Oh wow. I know. <laughs> that is crazy. Whoa. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's the cut we came through. <laughs> that was incredible, isn't it? Wow. Whoa, don't go so near. <laughs> 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 uh, wow, so pretty. So me and Katrina braved the Duke's Nose hike. It's pretty easy. It's very steep, but um, really short. It took us 20 minutes from the Tramper's Hut where we get out of the dinghy. And um, as they were saying, short but sharp. Uh, stunning views up here though. Just like, and you can see that's the, that's the cut where we come into Fangaroa Harbor. That narrow little cut opens up into this massive protected body of water. It's really cool definitely worth the uh, agony of the vertical climb to get these views. Awesome adventure, super fun, very easy. It's not as bad? Oh yeah, it's not as muddy, huh? I guess when we get out to the tide line, it might be. Just be careful of the oysters that oh, the yeah. back there that's kind of sticking up. Yeah, I'll just walk where you walked. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy Womble! How was that? that was Fantastic! Very cool. It's great climbing up the sea with the drone. Did you see the waterfall? There's an incredible waterfall. Yeah. We saw you take off that way, we're like, yeah, he saw it. But... No, no, because as I went behind that land, my drone froze. Oh, that was awesome, George. It took us 20 minutes. 20 minutes. You got there really fast. Two minutes yeah. to the second. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Give a thumbs up for the adventure. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> if you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to contribute, you can consider joining the Patreon crew. Thanks for watching. Fair winds until next time.